Now at five, an explosion and fire rocks an oil refinery in Pascagoula, killing an employee. The explosion happened around two this morning at one of Chevron's processing units. Officials are now trying to figure out the cause of the explosion. Local 15's Christian Jennings is live from our newsroom. Christian, authorities say the victim lived in Sims. That's right, and officials at the Chevron Pascagoula refinery say 49 year old Tanya Grotti, or Tony as co workers called her, had been with the company for five years. And she was working in this particular processing unit with about a dozen others this morning when something went terribly wrong. The state flag in front of the Chevron Pascagoula refinery flies at half staff today as the company remembers the life of one of its own. This event weighs very heavily on all the uh... All the folks in the refinery, including me, and, uh, and so it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of hard work to dig in to understand exactly why this happened. Officials say it was around 2 a.m. when an explosion occurred inside what they call the cracking area, killing operator Tony Grotti. There was a detonation inside of a furnace, and a fire uh, that also um, occurred inside the furnace and then just outside adjacent to it. There was not any release of, uh, of any toxic, subs toxic substances, no danger to the community. The most important thing was to um, secure the unit. No one else was injured this morning, but the event comes on the eve of 50th anniversary events that were scheduled at the refinery this weekend. Those events have all been canceled. Absolutely a tragic morning. The company reports that this is the fifth fatality at the site in the past 50 years. The last one happened 10 years ago, and it's certainly been a rough 24 hours for Chevron. Just yesterday, a Chevron pipeline exploded near a tiny town south of Dallas, prompting evacuations. Now, I just got off the phone with the OSHA director in Jackson County, Mississippi, Clyde Payne. He says, for the most part, the Pascoola refinery has a clean record. The last time it was cited, he says, was in 2009 when OSHA found 10 safety violations, which he describes as a relatively small number. OSHA must complete this most recent investigation within six months. Live in the newsroom, Christian Jennings, Local 15 News. Chris